Okay, so welcome to Math Story, yeah? and let's have this topic. So finding the derivative of trigonometric functions, then we have this given y equals sine squared 2x plus 1 half cosine 4x. So using this formula to find the derivative for sine u, that's cosine u times the derivative of u. And for cosine u, that's negative sine u times the derivative of u. So for this given, first, we need to rewrite this function. So we have y then equals sine 2x. Then we need to put this exponent outside. So to the power 2. Then plus 1 half. Then cosine 4x. Then to find the derivative, so for this term, we're going to use the chain rule. So that's u to the power n. So to find the derivative, that's n times u to the power n minus 1 times the derivative of u. So for this given, n is equal to 2, then times u u is sine 2x then to the power n minus 1 so minus 1 for the exponent so this becomes 1 then times the derivative of u since u is sine 2x and the derivative of sine is cosine so we have cosine 2x times the derivative of u or the derivative of 2x that's 2 then plus for this term, so we just need to bring down this one half. Then times the derivative of cosine 4x. Since the derivative of cosine is negative sine, so we have a negative sine. Then 4x times the derivative of u or the derivative of 4x. That's 4. Then simplify, so using the different trigonometric identities, so we have y prime equals, so from the double angle identities, that if we have 2 sine a cosine a, so this one is equal to sine 2 times a. So if we have this 2 sine 2x, then cosine 2x, so therefore, a is equal to 2x, so we have now sine, then 2 times a, or 2 times 2x, so this one is sine 4x, so therefore, this 2 sine 2x cosine 2x is equal to sine 4x then, we still have this times 2. Then since this one is negative, so minus this 1 half times 4. So 1 half of 4, this one is 2, then sine 4x. Then simplify, so we have y prime equals, so we just need to put this 2. So we have 2, then sine 4x, then minus 2 sine 4x so therefore y prime or the derivative so 2 sine 4x minus 2 sine 4x this one is equal to 0 so this is now the derivative then for this given so using the quotient rule so we have u over v and to find the derivative so that's v times the derivative of u minus u times the derivative of v over v squared. So u in the given, that's cosine x, and the derivative of u, so the derivative of cosine, that's negative sine u, so we have negative sine x. Then for v, so v is 1 plus sine x and for the derivative of v so the derivative of constant this one is 0 
and the derivative of sine x, so for sine u, that's cosine x. Then to find the derivative, so y prime equals using this formula, so we have v, v is 1 plus sine x times du, and du is negative sine x, then minus u, u is cosine x times derivative of v, so dv, that's cosine x, then over v squared, so v is 1 plus sine x, then to the power 2. Then simplify, so we have y prime equals, so 1 times negative sine x, this one is negative sine x. Then sine x times negative sine x, that's negative sine squared x. Then this negative cosine times cosine, that's negative cosine squared x. Then over this one plus sine x to the power 2. Then simplify. So if we're going to put this negative outside, so this becomes y prime equals, so put negative outside, so this negative sine x becomes positive sine x, and this negative sine squared x becomes positive sine squared x, and this negative cosine squared x becomes positive cosine squared x, then over this one plus sine x to the power 2. Then from the trigonometric identity, that sine squared x plus cosine squared x is equal to 1. So therefore, this sine squared x plus cosine squared x is equal to 1. So we have now y prime equals negative then sine x, then plus, again, this one is equal to 1, then over 1 plus sine x to the power 2. Then simplify, so y prime equals, so since this sine x plus 1 is equal to 1 plus sine x, so therefore we can cancel and cancel 1, so the final answer is negative. Then we have 1, then over 1 plus sine x. So this is now the derivative.